Hello and welcome back to the Tracking Success channel. Today we're diving into a practical tutorial on how to send data from a web container to a server container. And I give you also an example on how to do it with uh, the page pad element. So in this session, I'll guide you through the steps needed to transfer the page pad parameter from your web container to your server container. But you can do this for every data point there is. It works the same. So uh, in this case, I use PagePad. Uh, PagePad is the part of a page URL that comes after the domain. So in this case, tag manager slash container slash accounts. You're going to add a parameter in the Google Tag Web Container to track the URL path visited by users. And next, uh, we will retrieve this parameter in the server container. And after that, you can do with it what you want. So here we go. First off, we're going to go to the web container and we need to go to the Google Tag. So you have to have it installed, GA4 configuration. And then we need to add a configuration parameter. In this case, we will use PagePad. And then we need to add a value that also has to be the same. So and then we press on save and don't forget to submit your container so the second step is to retrieve this parameter into the server container so uh, you need to go to your server container and then we need to go to variables because here's where the data comes in and then we need to create a new variable and then we are gonna need to have the event data here we go the keypad has to be the same as the thing you put in the Google Tag. So in this case, it is page path. And then we need to press save and give it a name, uh, page path variable, and then press save. And it's how you transfer page path data from a web container to a server container. And now you can use this variable in your tags and triggers or what you want to do with it. As I mentioned earlier, you can do this with every data point and yeah, that was really it. So if you find this video useful, hit the thumbs up below the video. This way I can check what video videos you all like and what should I create in the future. And this was tracking success for now and I'll see you in the next one.